Okay, welcome to um, Kings and Kaiser's solo game. Uh, this is the beginning of turn four for the um, Austro-Hungarians. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the um, tracking board uh, for the game. And we'll see that the uh, central powers right now are absolutely dominating, although their board position is perhaps not ideal right now. Uh, they are winning right now 10 points to one because they have three victory cities, uh, Sofia, Cape Town, and Verdun, plus five minor victory cities, Baku, Bucharest, Cairo, Warsaw, and Ypres. Uh, they, so they currently have the three victory, three minor cities and five minor cities points. They have the Western Front point right now. They have the Suez Canal point right now. They have the Middle East Oil point, the Pacific Colony point, and the China point. The only point right now that the Allies have uh, is the Africa point at this point. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, um, let's start the Austro-Hungarian turn. Uh, they do have uh, 32 IPCs to spend. They're gonna spend 15 on uh, three artillery and an infantry, and then they're gonna spend 17 on a sub, on artillery and infantry, and our first truck of the game. Uh, I wanted to see how those worked and I think I could actually use one on the Eastern Front for the uh, Austro-Hungarians, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, okay, here are the um, things that are gonna be happening in the Austro-Hungarian turn. So I think we can see all of the various battlefields. So uh, there will be from Austria proper, two artillery and four infantry coming in to challenge Dalmatia. Uh, and then we will send a single infantry into the Tyrol battle. Um, the cavalry in Austria is going to tow one infantry over to uh, Romania and just sit there for now. Um, the fighter in western Ukraine is going to join the attack on Tyrol so that the um, Austrians can have air superiority in that battle. Um, over in the western, or in the eastern front, uh, we will be attacking uh, Volga with two infantry and two artillery from the Crimea. We don't really expect to win this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, two infantry from western Ukraine uh, are going to um, leave the contested territory and go into Crimea. Uh, but there will still be an attack there, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, from left to right, oh, I gotta go get the uh, dice tray. From left to right, I guess we'll start the battles. So we'll start on the uh, Italian uh, front here, here with um, uh, the battle for... Uh, Let's go Tyrol first, I guess. Um, where can I put this? That'll fit. It should fit here, I think, if we're careful. Yep, that'll fit. Okay, so the Tyrol battle. Um, the three artillery have air superiority, and they are supporting the three infantry, plus there is a fighter in that um, attack as well. So, uh, can we... We can see the tray. We should be good there. Okay. Three hits. Not ideal, but what are you going to do? None of the artillery hit. That's disappointing. Okay. Um, the defense, the um, Italians have five artillery and two infantry, so this could hurt. Four hits. Okay, so... Uh, the Italians will lose one infantry and two artillery. And the Austro-Hungarians will lose two infantry and two artillery. So that's not much left there, but what are you going to do? Okay. All right, the next battle for Dalmatia. So in Dalmatia, we have 
two infantry paired with two artillery and then two unpaired infantry. So that's uh, four threes and two twos. Ooh, four hits. And that's all they needed, actually. So that's perfect. And now we have the Italians defending with four threes. Three hits. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, the Italians are wiped out. And the Austrians lose three infantry. Okay. Um, moving right along. Uh, I can swap out these dice now. Uh, okay, up here. Uh, we need eight of those for eight. Okay. Uh, so these are these dice. So we don't need these anymore. So what um, the uh, Austrians have in Western Ukraine are um, four, or sorry, five. Oh, I have too many of these, I think. Oh, I do. I do have too many of those. So it's four. Um, yeah, no, that's right. Four. Four and four is eight. Yeah, okay. So four artillery and four infantry paired with those, and then there are two additional infantry. So that's eight threes and two twos. Oh, let's get the tray in range. Eight threes and two twos. Here we go. One hit. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Okay, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay, uh, the Russians are countering with uh, five, uh, or th uh, three infantry, two artillery, and a cavalry, which means five threes and a one. So five threes and a one is here. And they only got one hit as well. So... The Russians will lose an infantry, and the um, Austro-Hungarians will also lose an infantry. Okay. Uh, last battle is uh, over here in Volga. All right, what do we have here? I can, I can swap in the proper dice now. So, okay, so the... Um, Austro-Hungarians are coming in with two infantry and two artillery. Uh, so that's uh, four threes. And then the Russians are defending with three infantry, one artillery, and a cavalry. So that's four threes and a one. So let's get the tray in view. Okay. Uh, so here's the Austro-Hungarian first shot. Two hits. And the Russian response three hits okay so if we go back three hits to two uh, up here so that leaves the austro-hungarians with a single infantry and the russians only lose two infantry okay all right so uh in terms of Placement of new units. I'll get this stuff out of the way. Placement of new units. Whoops. Uh, that was there. These were there. Okay, placement of new units in the Austro Hungarian Empire. Okay, so three artillery and an infantry are going to go down in Austria proper. Uh, the sub obviously will go down in C zone 30. Uh, and then we do have that little military base in Galicia. So we're going to put in an infantry and an artillery there, plus a truck. Okay, and we'll see how that helps us a little bit later. Uh, okay, um, so they get Dalmatia back, so that's plus four uh, for the Austro-Hungarians, and then they take away uh, what is it, one? Is Volga worth anything? Volga's worth one. So they take away one from the Russians. Western Ukraine was already contested. Tyrol was already contested. So Austro-Hungary up four. Russia down one. Austria-Hungary. 
think Austria Hungary up four to 32, Russia down one to 20. They're now tied with the Italians at 20. Um, do they have any three of Poland, Romania, Crimea, and Western Ukraine? Uh, Poland, they don't control. Romania, Crimea, no, don't, not yet. So we don't get that yet. We don't get that. We don't get that. Okay, so no national objectives. Uh, so they have 32 IPCs. However, there is a convoy in place in the Black Sea here. So uh, we do have to roll that. So it's going to be 32 minus potentially 5. 32 minus, uh, we'll each get one to start, plus one, I guess. So, um, that's three, I think, if I'm reading that correctly. Uh, so 32 minus three is 29 IPCs that the, um, that the uh, Austria -Hung Austro-Hungarians are going to finish with. Okay, on to Russia's turn. I'm assuming they're going to push back on some of this stuff. So see you next video.